guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to bring you guys my personal review, and kind of like a two-part review. So, the first part is going to be on the new Kim Kardashian West um, Kimoji Heart Fragrances that just launched a couple weeks ago, or a month ago, or so. Um, I'm going to do this in like two parts, so I'm going to do the first three um, that came out last year, next week, and then I'm just doing the new ones this week. So so the first one is Wipey, and it is the yellow one. So it looks like this. The box resembles kind of like a candy heart almost, um, but it's got like a shiny heart in the middle, which I think is really cute. So it's like yellow and yellow. It says Wipey, and then on the back it says KKW Fragrance Kimoji Hearts. The bottle looks like this, and it's kind of like a matte softness. Like it's so matte that it's soft. Um, the only thing is my paint did kind of chip a little bit on the side of the lid there. Not sure exactly why. But it says wipey on the front, and then it's got a red sprayer, and the red sprayer matches the same red as the wipey. So this one has notes of yuzu, plamento, violet leaves, magnolia, dewy freesia, mimosa, whipped caramel, and creamy musk. Um, this one's my favorite out of the three of them. It's kind of warm. It definitely does have like a soft floralness to it with a little bit of a sweetness to it. But it's very, very warm and very um, slightly floral. It's not as like bam floral as some of the other ones are in this one. And I definitely think the caramel helps add that in there to it. Um, I definitely do like get a whippedness to it and you can kind of like it's like an airier sweetness. But this definitely does have like a warm base to it that I really, really like. And it lasts a really, really long time. I sprayed it on, like, when I first got it, and I had it on my hoodie to the point where, like, I had to wash my hoodie again to get it off of it because I, like, I threw the hoodie back on, and I was like, I can still smell it. And anything else I threw on after that, this was overtaking it. So I definitely had to re-wash that hoodie just to get the smell of it off so I could wear something else without this overtaking it. Next up is Baby Girl, and it is the mint green one, and it's also the lightest out of the three of them. This one is Bright Citruses, Succulent Fruits, Blushing Peony, Jasmine, Muge Flower, uh, Feather Light Musk, Exotic Vetiver, and Sensuous Amber Crystals. So you do get a little bit of the citruses when it first, first opens up, but this one's definitely the lightest and most floral of the three, um, and it's the most, like, floral. It doesn't have a very distinct floral note that sticks out unlike some of the other ones do, but this one is kind of very light. It's very airy. Um, I definitely feel like Wifey has more of a warm, ambery nip base to it than this does. Um, but that being said, you do smell the citruses. They are there. They are kind of like bright and sparkling in the opening. Um, but as it starts to dry down, the florals are definitely the bright, shining part of this one and definitely what you can smell the most. And the final one is Batty. Batty is the orange one, and unfortunately the one I don't like the... I can't get the lid off. Unfortunately the one I don't like. So this one is Wild Rose, Palm Leaves, Irish Geranium, Heavy Woods, Soft Musk, and Golden Amber. This one is super strong on the rose. It is very, very... There's something about this I just don't like, and I don't know if it's a mixture of the rose and the palm leaves and the iris. Like, I'm not a huge rose and iris fan to begin with. Um, but there's just something very sharp about this one that I'm not, like, digging at all. Definitely Wifey is, the, like, my personal favorite out of the three of them. But this one does last a long time as well, and is kind of that middle ground. It's not as light as Baby Girl is, but it's definitely not as, like, loud and strong as Wifey. Um... But definitely, if you don't like Rose, you probably won't like this one, because Rose is definitely the standout in this one. Um, but it does kind of round out and create a very soft, pretty Rose at the very end. Even though I don't like Rose, I still tried it, um, still tested it. And the Rose does kind of, like, fade into more of, like, a soft, less sharp as it kind of dries down. But definitely still prominent throughout the whole entire fragrance. All three of them um, have a very similar, like projection when you're wearing them, but definitely Wifey is the strongest out of the three of them, with this one falling behind it and Baby Girl being the, like, the lightest out of the three of them. So, there you guys go. There is my review of the Kimoji KKW Hearts Fragrances Round 2. I will be reviewing the original three next week. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm sorry I didn't have a video up this previous Thursday. Um, it's just life happened, and Valentine's Day with working in a flower shop is just crazy. It, 
I digress. Anyway, next week there will be one more review um, for this, like, this set. Um, and there will be another list video later this week, which was the one that was supposed to be up last Thursday. So, sorry about that, but it's just what it is. So, anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, a that's perfume, and Instagram, among the search perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.